Hi guys, this is Sam Smith here and I'm here at NME.com. The success in America has been um, a really surreal experience and it continues to be a really surreal experience for me. Um, you know, I'm a control freak and, and I, I had things planned in my head of the way things were going to go with the record. Um, and it's just, it just happened so quick. It was SNL, I did Saturday Night Live over there and it spimbled everything and um, and yeah, they've, they've fallen in love with the album, I guess. It's, it, and it's, I can't, I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful as well for the speed of, of how it's all happened around the world. It feels like it's happened at the same time. Um, it also feels like it, it's happened fast, but not too fast. I, don't, I feel like it's, it doesn't feel like it's gonna burn out. You can't compare the UK to the US because the magnitude of, of the amount of people is just ridiculous. Like even radio, Radio over here, I heard someone said to me, like, the main radio in the UK, there's, like, like probably, like, 300-something stations of, like, main, main things. In the US, it's just, there's thousands and thousands and thousands, to like, hundreds of thousands, possibly. It's, it's crazy. And, um, you know, that's the, the difference as well in, in, in terms of marketing as well in the US and the UK is that in the UK, people like to find music. In the US, you have to present it to people, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's just a whole different, whole different world. In the US, you, you put yourself on their television in their living room, and that's how they find out about you. Whereas in the UK, you can plant little seeds here and there, and people will find it in, in newspapers and stuff like that. People look, look for things. I, th I think I've been heavily influenced my whole life by American artists, but I don't think I went, I didn't, I know I didn't, I didn't go out of my way to write an American album. Um, it's got the, I feel like the record and the music I make has the soul of an American artist, but it's dressed in a British way, if you know what I mean. I've, I, I, um, I don't want to, I don't want to sound like Beyonce, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, my record's honest and stripped and soulful, but it's still, it's a British album and it's, and there's so many British influences in it. And I think Americans really love British people, but there's just, I think it's just the right, right amount of mixtures of, of, of different cultures, different um, inspirations all came into play.